way back, I'm Aaron. Shane! Eric, we're back. First number we're here. I don't know what it is. Clone Wars Season 7 is here. We're back, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've never oh, been. Man, my I don't know I if know. to say back because we've never been here. <laughs> never been to Clone Wars. Us three have never reacted to Clone Wars new. Yeah, first time. No. Yeah, yeah, oh, I'm so excited. So how long has it been since the end of when it came on Netflix? Before now? Blind Wave. It's like six years. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. Long freaking time, dude. We've had Rebels, Resistance, both those in between there, and mm -hmm. that's been four, yeah. uh, six seasons. And ever any Star Wars that's ever come out, I almost always go back and compare it to something about how amazing the Clone Wars was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I get to say how amazing the Clone Wars is. Now you can compare yeah. it to itself. Well, what's yeah. great is Filoni gets to finish what him and George started. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and honor George in a way, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, tell some of the same stories that him and George were talking about. Yeah. When, when yeah. we went to uh, Star Wars Celebration this last year, we uh, we went to the Clone Wars panel where, you know, we had to go. That was the one thing. Like, I have to go to the Clone Wars panel. Everything mm -hmm. else will hit or miss because mm -hmm. I love Clone Wars so much. Mm -hmm. And we saw some cool stuff, but that's stuff that's going to be coming up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, now, these are episodes, uh, this is the Bad Batch episodes, mm -hmm. which uh, there was an animatic on StarWars.com a long time ago. Yeah. And I think I watched like 10 minutes of the first episode just being like, oh, this is cool, but man, I wish they would have made this in a thing. And now they have. Yeah. So, yeah. that's awesome. Um, and we should say, this being the first episode, not only are you going to be able to watch the full length, everybody's going to be able to watch the full length reaction, mm -hmm. because it's the first episode of a new season. But we got some new Blind Wave merch. Mm -hmm. We got the Blind Wave Clone Trooper helmet, yeah. which uh, Top Screen designed for us. And we got it on shirts. He's got it on his notepad. We even got a sticker now, too. So uh, Stickers, notepad, shirts. It's awesome design. That's a special treat. There is a uh, discount code. So until Monday, for like the next three days, but until Monday, you can get 20% off any of the Clone Trooper merchandise over there. Okay? Wonderful. The uh, discount code is Clone Wars. Oh, that's <laughs> tricky. Yeah. It is tricky, but uh, yeah, we're just we're super happy, super psyched to be starting this show, yes. and I absolutely love this design. You can see right here. There's some arabesque. I wonder what it says. Yeah, you, know? you, see, our, you see our logo kind of worn and yep. torn, like worn down, battle damage. It's awesome, blind way blue. Yes. Love it. It's one of the coolest things I think that. And then, uh, then as Eric kind of mentioned too, uh, over at Patreon.com/slash/BlindWave, we do offer full length. We're going to be offering that for the full season at one of our tiers as uh, as thanks for supporting. Mm -hmm. um, for the first episode, it's available for anybody. So you guys can watch the entire episode along with us using your own reference footage, of course. Yeah. But yeah, you can uh, find it at Disney Plus. Yes. That's what we're going to be watching it. So you can join that. Uh, it should be down in the description below and or the pinned comment. All right, so we're going to be getting into it. Remember, because it's a new uh, uh, live show, too, we're going to be doing Q&As and polls, too, which we've never done for Star Wars The Clone Wars. Never. I'm no. super, so it's excited. Be so it's be fun. let's get started. Clone Wars! Ah! Disaster! Hey! Ah! Look at that. <laughs> Embrace others for the differences for that week's Not bad. Not bad. The battle for an Axis. An Axis. One of the Republic's larger shipyards is under attack from uh, Admiral Trench's separatist forces. Trench. Trench. Jedi Generals Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker lead a <laughs> two-pronged assault on the ground and in the air. That's pretty. I'm so happy. Well, the droid army uses analytics to predict our strategy. Goddamn analytics. The first time we Worst use a tactic, ever. it's very effective. The next, less so. In fact, the more we use a certain tactic, the less effective it becomes. They learn our tendencies and use that data against us. If you think it'll help turn this fight around, get going. <clears throat> Thank you, General. Rex, is there anything else? Me, yeah, looks good. No, General. Anything else? That's weird. It's weird to ask if there's anything else. Yeah, it is. Like he's anticipating something else to yeah. be there. I, I love, I, I, I like Resistance for what it was. Maybe stuff with his wife. Yeah, I mean. I like Resistance for what it was, but seeing this again, oh, yeah. how good it looks. Fives. Echo. Fives Echo. Domino Squad. Before that heavy. There's so many troopers gone. I think Echo's alive. Huh? Oh, what? That's not possible. He died at the Citadel. The way yeah. the droids are countering us here, the strategies I'm using. Wait, they're you think they're using old Echo? battle plans Echo and I drew up together. Look, so you got caught here with your thing, but it's just not Remember possible. Remember, Domino Squad's still alive. So, what squad are we taking in? Clone Force ninety nine. Clone Force ninety nine. No, we had a we had a uh, Clone ninety nine, right? Ninety nine, the the defect. Yeah. <clears throat> Coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when D. Bradley Baker talks to himself. I love it. The defective clones with the uh, desirable mutations. 
99. Huh? Nice touch. Yeah, it's a nice they touch. They call themselves the Bad Batch. Desirable mutations. Yeah, yep. from that. Oh, that armor I love the so armor. Good. It's like Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a sniper there. Cavalry has arrived! They have like posters up in their gun show. <laughs> Rambo. Hey, uh, yeah. Whoa, yeah, yeah. look at that clone. Good to see you again. You too, sir. <laughs> Ever fought a male Yalbik? Um, Copinus. no. Uh, can't say I have. I mean, that's a desirable lucky. mutation there. Rekka here cut off the Queen's stinger while she was still alive. <laughs> that's why all those Yalbik males tried to eat us. <laughs> it's not much of a conversation, oh, but nice. when you it's have to hit a there. precise target from ten clicks... I can kind of anticipate everyone but Hunter. I'm not sure what his, like, desirable mutation is. Yeah. He's, he's Rambo. What, is, what does that mean? You know what it means. He's amazing. <laughs> hey, let's do a first blood! Never seen it. Don't usually work with regs. Too big. Regs. <laughs> this reminds he's me of, like, Predator. Red the red light. Clubs. It's the brains of the entire Separatist campaign here on Anexus. I can demolish that with one hand. Yeah! This isn't a no, demo job. not the smartest right guy, I think. It's don't don't underestimate him. No, I, I would guarantee he's super strong. Factor <laughs> one alert. Enemy gunship approaching your location. Uh oh, we're going down. Don't start out this new season with a crash landing. They, there's always a crash landing. I know. They're going down. They're going to get hit. Oh, they're hitting. I told you. I told you. They're going to get hit. I told you. Wreck into them. No. Some precedent. They're going down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's cool. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Damn. That's cool. Looking. I know. Yeah, that, it's like kinda, glass. Kind of like a crate. A little bit. Except not red. Oh, shoot. He's trapped! He's going to get the gunship out of there. This is a, not Cody. This is a really desirable mutation. He's super strong. I told you, you got strength. That's why he's so big. What, are they the X-Men? I don't know. I don't know how these desirable mutations work. It's 99. Oh, man, it's so cool. <laughs> Man, they need to add these guys to Battlefront too. Oh, that is just Roger. Who's ranks gave away our position? Huh. <laughs> they use that to run at him with. You got a fence. Yeah, get the range. Someone's got dual pistols. The tech. I think a crosshair might be back farther. Is he? Oh no, he's right there. there. Okay. This <laughs> is cool, they just, they just keep moving up, throw out a new one, pop it. Dang, <laughs> oh. that's a lot of yeah. Oh, stabbing you. He's bent his gun nose back. He held back the explosion. Yeah. Anymore? Fuck, that looks Dang. So good. Yeah. I want to see some of those guys walking around celebration this year. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Sure. <laughs> I look, Crosshair. This little Clanker likes you. That could be a fun we guy. We should to move out before reinforcements arrive. He got a little skull on his bandana. Yeah, and he's got a skull like in his face paint yeah. tattoo thingy. Yeah. This infiltration is irregular. Look at Trench. So funny. This squad just clones. Interesting. <laughs> Love all the gold on foot now in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. He was like Xerxes from 300, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of Ambush a little bit. He's like, he's like, I don't know, camp. With all the little There's plants. Weird creatures back there. Well, maps can be wrong. Hunter never is. It's like spatial awareness. All right, so we have super strong, super aiming. Reminds me of what tech is. He's smart. Super smart. Just super Hanging smart, Cody. Tech. Yeah. I guess. If your plans are so good, why did Commander Cody have to call us in? You can't talk to Captain Rex like that. Says who? Oh! Put him down! Drop him. Now. Jeez. Oh. Fellas. Come on. We'll do it your way, Captain. For Commander Cody. Okay, let's gear up and move out. Man, that's cool Jeez, looking. Look at that. man. The way they do that. Yeah. Rex just kind of fits in just fine with it, you know? 
The no music too, just sound effects. Yeah. Oh man. Is it over already? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. The cyber center doesn't seem to be as well defended as I was expecting. Do they leave tech and the sniper back there? Or they bring the sniper. I don't know. Whoa. Yeah, that glass stuff's yeah. cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's awesome. Mm, there we go. Whoa, what's he got on his... He's got his helmet, a visor, and a scope. those separatist forces breach the outpost. Whoa! There's crashing through the glass world. I don't know, I don't know yeah. what it is. They must know about the algorithm. Get me in contact with the cyber center at once. Is the algorithm Echo? I don't know, maybe. Put all droids on alert. An attack is coming. When the attack... <laughs> <laughs> he reached for his head. The B ones are so unique in that I absolutely love them, and I don't mind when they don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Delicate operation. So you can crack. Wrecker's gonna break it. <laughs> you take too long. <laughs> All of their uh, blasters have unique sounds too. This is one shot. It is. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like the way they move. It's great. Yeah. It's still going. We're in. Oh. <laughs> It's still going! Jeez. Eat your heart out, Daredevil! <laughs> so, like, everything's glass, not even the, the plants? Yeah. So, like, you lose cover as you get shot at. Yeah. yeah whenever they crash down, they crash into the earth with the plants or what? Ah! Oh, yeah. The super. That was so cool, I just. It, yeah, the usually they feel like they place them there, you know? This is strange. It's not a program. Mm -hmm. It's a live signal from another planet. Can't be. Back up. Yeah. Uh -oh. Ah, it's so cool. CT one four zero nine. I don't believe it. I can't remember all the CT numbers, but I'm pretty sure. Exactly. Well, I mean, if, if you get a clone trooper number, it's got to be yeah. the Zeka. Uh, where, where's their lift at? Yeah. There we go. CT one four zero nine. That was Echo's number. He's alive. Oh, get him, get him. Man, the end. Oh, I don't want One to domino yet. still stands. Dang. Ah, great Dang. by George Lucas. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. <laughs> All right, first episode back, first arc. Yeah. But bad Batch. Yeah. So, I'm it, excited. It's interesting, too, because like they, they have Trench back. Yeah. And with watching Chronological... Like I started watching with the kids too through chronological, uh -huh. and the first episode is the cat and mouse with yeah, Trench. With so I'm trench. like, man, yeah. they just brought back the first episode. But I'm like, no, they didn't. First episode's ambush. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But no, I, I, I like. I think I like having him back because I can see that maybe he could have lived, and he was an interesting villain, and we didn't trench. really see Trench very much, you know. I've always so, liked. Did him, we yeah. see him at all in the new missions? I can't remember. In the, in the, in the lost six? missions. Yeah, in the lost missions. I don't think. So. I don't. I, don't, I feel like we. I feel like we didn't. Yeah. No. I feel like he was just there in that one episode, and then he was gone. And yeah. I was like, man, he was kind of a neat character for them yeah. to say, like, hey, he was a big threat, and then he died, and he didn't die, he's here, and then he died. Well, he's the <laughs> one that they, they think keeps dying, right? Because And then they'd be like, ah, oh, there's a certain, like, I remember something about this guy's strategy, and it's, it's it yeah, trench. Yeah, in, in Cat and Mouse, so. it was uh, uh, Yularen, yeah. who was like, he died during this, I lost, I lost a lot of good men, yeah. but I thought he died, but this has all the markings of him. And then... They're like, oh man, he's such a big threat, and then they just killed him in that episode, and then well, you never saw him again. Now so. one of his markings is he comes back. Now he's back. <laughs> yeah, back again. So, but speaking of back, I mean, Echo, like it was like a digitized voice, like the, the way he was saying his CT number was the same recording over and over and it's over. Like, again. Yeah, it, it's like he's machine a little bit too. Yeah, because he was the one. He was uh, other than Fives, he was the second to last Domino Trooper to go, I think. Right, and he was on the mission trying to see save Even Pill from. The Citadel on that prison planet, mm -hmm. and like they were trying to make their way to a thing, and it just exploded. Like he was like securing their escape. Yeah, and I just remember being like, "Man, that sucks," because like, still was like, it's a member of Domino Squad just kind of died incident like incidentally in the background, yeah. you know? Yeah, but apparently not. Echoes alive. Yeah, I mean, well, what a cool alive. story! What a cool story too. We never really seen anything like yeah. that in Clone Wars before. No, <laughs> it's uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do with him because I'm wondering if like you know they always talk about like 
the clones having like a programming as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And then we know like Order 66, they have like that chip kind of thing and whatnot. Yeah. Is there a way of them utilizing that in some way to kind like of like digitizing his mind? To kind of, yeah, to kind of digitize it and make it like an algorithm. I mean, or something. Like, like yeah, like a way to yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's what a lot it of, has to be. It's a lot of similar, you know, lingo. Yeah. You know, to like computers and then like yeah. the programming of these clones and you know de yeah. defective and whatnot. So yeah. the fact that Trench, without anybody else, you know, listening, called it a algorithm, it has to be that. Like they had to have like. But he has to be familiar with what it is because he, whenever they said about it being at a, uh, yeah. Ska, Ska, Minor. Skako. Whenever they said about that, he, he flipped out. Ah! Yeah. yeah. Like ah. I think he, yeah he knows uh, he he knows what's up. He just. Is calling it an algorithm, so it's probably not, there's probably not much of Echo left, just like his strategies and stuff, you know. True. Yeah. Which maybe that'll fit in well with these like these bad batch guys being able to have like they have different mutations that make them yeah useful as opposed to you know. And I loved Nine and Nine, and they're named after Clone Trooper Nine. Yeah. You know. Well, I just wonder if they would have something to say about like is he. Is, you know, what I mean, like, if, if the, I, I, I guess I imagine there's like going to be a situation where they want to end his life if they think he's not, if he's like stuck in like this machine or yeah. if he's half machine. I feel like and the Mad Batch might have something to say about like they might see him as not a reg like yeah, the others. They exactly. call him regs. True. I was thinking it might go the other way where you know you have Rex in this episode talking about losing these brothers and mm -hmm. you know what it's like to be the one to survive and whatnot. But what if he has to put down Echo? Or yeah. something like that, and he has to be the one to take him out. Like if he has like, a terrible existence. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he, what if he can reach Echo, but he can't control the programming entirely? But he reaches him and says something mm -hmm. along the lines of like, you know, get yeah. in me, you know, finish this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Just the idea of that could be an interesting story as well, mm -hmm. as well as like ninety nine being like, no, sure. you know, he's different. But it's not that he's broken; he's just yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of really cool things in this. I said we jump over to some Q and A's, and then we can go into the rest of our notes. Okay. See what people were saying. Because I'm super excited to be able to have like feedback immediately on a new episode of Clone Wars. I know. Um, and for future episodes, what that means is that if you're following us over at Twitter, or if you have a Twitter, uh, just ask a question or have a comment or maybe some cool like piece of like small trivia or something that maybe you don't think we would have caught, you can go over to Twitter. Uh, at BlindwayProd is our handle, and you can use hashtag Clone Wars q and a to ask a question. What's me? Basketball specialist says, "Do you think that this season will intersect with Revenge of the Sith?" Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, just based on what we see in the trailer, I'll, you know, that's pretty much I think confirmed. Yeah, and, and honestly, I've just seen some George interview. I mean, some there's Dave Filoni interviews. There was specifically a line yeah. that Mace Windu says in the trailer that is a line from Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, so, yeah. It'd be interesting to see, like, it'd be cool to see a different take on the big Battle of Coruscant. Yeah, like, like up in space and stuff. Yeah, or the old, the old, or the capture of uh, Palpatine. Palpatine. I was gonna say the old, yeah. the old Gindy series did that. Grievous capturing Palpatine, mm -hmm. and he fought the Athorian Jedi and stuff. Yeah, that was and awesome. That was really cool. That was awesome. But will they really, will, will they redo it, or will they do Order sixty six from like Ahsoka's point of view? Yeah, you know? I, I, I think both. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, would, I, would I think I think we'll definitely see Order sixty six. I would, yeah, um, I would love to see the capture <laughs> of Palpatine, but I, I wonder if they feel like well. That was already done really well in this series. We want to do something different. Well, I know when George, when this first came out, George said that the other season was still canon, and then yeah. it started stepping on his toes. Yeah, I'm not the the, the Genji series mm -hmm. was still canon, and then it started stepping on his toes. If they redid it, I wouldn't be unhappy. Yeah, Maybe that that's stuff still good. Doesn't make it not good. It's just it mm -hmm. was redid with this technology. I mean, yeah, you know, I know that they got they have a matter of like here's these episodes that we were going to do, then mm -hmm. they got canceled. Now they're doing the episodes they were going to do, mm -hmm. not necessarily any new material. But well, they're I would, compressing I would, things. Yes, and they're compressing things. But I would love if they like this is the final season, and then just how we like we started the Clone Wars end with Clone Wars movie would be awesome. And that's that, that, and that could do. That'd be. That's so. what I was thinking. That's like, what they be cool. Be. If it was like this two-hour movie. Yeah. Which you you we, start it. You start that movie. You start the movie with the series. The series of the movie. End it with a movie. That would be awesome. I and that way they can still have. I would, I would go to theaters for. The I, I would movie. too. And this is or just Disney Plus, but yeah. I, as well. But like. This is the final season. Once the season's over, they said that's it, you know? Yeah. So, but they can get around that by saying, ah, but it's not the final movie. So, we'll see. That would be great, yeah. yeah. Well, now you get getting hopes up. It's not going to happen. Don't think it'll happen. <laughs> but, hey, yeah. hey, no. This series got canceled. My hopes were rolled down, all right? And then it came back. Hashtag Clone Wars saves. So, yeah. 
I mean, we I, can make it happen if we go hard. I wonder if George was consulted in any way by Filoni, like, to finish this. Even though I know they use a lot of their yeah. old story treatments. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'd be curious, but I think yeah. George is just like, eh, do what you want. <laughs> you know? Probably, yeah. Uh, Zayman says, I've been waiting for this for years, and ever since Star Wars Clone Wars... Oh, no, Star Wars Celebration, sorry. Yep. Uh, my question is, how would you guys like Clone Wars to end? For me, I want them to be, do an animated episode of the beginning of Episode 3 to yeah. tie it all in. I, I, I'm going to say what we just said. They do a movie of that. A yeah, movie of that? Yeah. Just from different perspectives? Yep. Uh, yeah, that, that would be great. And I have, I doubt we'll get a movie. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully I'm wrong. I do. Um, but I think we'll we'll get an animated version of different POVs of Revenge of the Sith mm -hmm. and... Hopefully after Revenge of the Sith. I yeah. think it'd be great if we had some Vader stuff. Yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> I don't I don't need I don't need Vader stuff. What I want what I want is the stuff I haven't had answered, which would be like things of where does Ahsoka maybe tie into things here at the mm -hmm. end? Um, what happens with uh, Rex yeah. as far as like, you know, from where he goes from here to where he goes later yeah. on, like how does that occur? Yes. You know, those, I want those kind of things to be tied in. Um, and even if they're shown from a different perspective I of, in episode three. That would be fine. And I think they're going to be limited to, because that Ahsoka novel that came out, which I don't think any of us have read yet, but the no. Ahsoka novel that came out had some things about what's happened with Ahsoka at the end of Clone Wars. So yeah. hopefully they don't feel like limited to only doing those things. That, and then, you know, but we'll see, yeah. you know. I, I started it in the very beginning, I think, touches on some stuff here. Really? But it's like a prologue. Okay. But yeah. then it jumps back, and I, I started going through it. And then I never got to the part that the prologue was just okay, talking about. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. Um, Cheetah says, Wow, Trench is back and Echo's alive. Do you think they'll try to kill Trench for good? And how do you see Echo coming back? Also, what do you think of the Bad Batch? And who's your favorite? Mine is probably Hunter, since he's more understanding of regs. Yeah, I mean... Hunter is the most normal of them. He just has that like spatial awareness of like feel vibrations anywhere on yeah. the. Did he say anywhere on the planet? Heightened he senses, and he could sense the uh, magnetic uh, yeah. vibrations or magnetic whatever it was. Magnetic anywhere, impulses. anywhere, the, anywhere uh, on the, the planet. electromagnetism yeah. specifically. Yeah. Which I mean, so it's kind of like uh, Desmond. Most, yeah, most, that's what I was say too. Lost. Most planets kind of have yeah. some kind of electromagnetism. He can just sense it, and that's probably why too that showed him later like. Sniffing and smelling stuff yeah. and getting a feel for the so planet. No, yeah. senses. So he's probably the most normal of them, though I guess Tech is just smart. He's a smart guy. And he has he had like he brought like all those things out to like hack into the systems and stuff, so that was cool. Mm -hmm. Um the craziest one is uh is Wrecker. Wrecker, who has literal super strength. Yeah. He's and he's yeah. bigger than yeah. like any clone. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen a clone that big. I mean he looked at a gunship with, I mean that's like Captain America level at least, right? Yeah, yeah. at least. At least. Yeah. Well he held it back an explosion. He did. Can't, can't do that. Huh? With a shield. Yeah. yeah no, with a vibranium shield. <laughs> There's like spaces in that. Yeah, he was holding metal scrap metal thing. He was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he's uh, he's two Captain Americas. Okay. Yeah, he's trying he's, to scale. He's, he's to scale. super strong. Yeah. He's so strong he can hold the flames back in holes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or just he's wearing armor and he's fine. Maybe. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but yeah, Wrecker is my favorite. Who was your guys' favorite? Oh. Um. I like Crosshair because I like the sniping aspect of things. Yeah. Personality-wise, though. He's a bit of a dick. He's got an attitude. But that comes with... Yeah, I guess I like being, Crosshair. You know, you got... Yeah, Crosshair. <laughs> Hunter's cool. I like how he tried to make a piece. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he like he's putting the mission first. Uh, but in, in terms of, like, what Eric said, Crosshair's... Uh, he's got a fun personality. He'd be fun to hang out with. Wrecker, you mean? Yeah. Or Wrecker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Wrecker. Yeah. Wrecker. Um... All right. And then... And, I mean, see. it's D. Bradley Baker doing... All of them. They just put clone troopers, you know. Yeah. But he he has a good personality for all of those characters. It feels different enough, you know. Yeah, I wasn't sure that tech when we first heard him talk was yeah. Dee Bradley Baker because it sounded different enough yeah. that I'm like, oh, that's not him. And then yeah. it was like later on, I'm like, yeah, I guess it could be him. Yeah. Which is it's so interesting because he can go a lot harder on like the making them sound different with these guys, mm -hmm. but he's always been so good at making just the other subtle clone changes sound. Yeah, very subtle. Yeah. You know, even just, it, a lot of that's the writing too, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, being able to, like certain clones say things a certain way. Yeah. But yeah, it's just so great. It, and then, yeah. He, yeah, Matthew Wood being, uh, he was the super tactical droid too as well. That's cool. Because they always like, the, the super tactical droids will be like, once, usually it's one of the main cast members that gets yeah. to do one. So like, 
you know, when they had that uh, Kobe Bryant styled one, mm -hmm. you know, that was uh, actually Eckstein that did that one, you know? Like, they always do like a robotic thing that put it through, but yeah. it's kind of like one of the things like, oh, I had to do the super battle droid or super technical droid this time, you know? Yeah. So that's yeah. cool. And then TC Carson has Mace Window again. That was great as well. Mm -hmm. Mace has a new model as well. He has the sleeves rather yeah. than the yeah. armor. You notice it's just the faces. Like, yeah. the faces are so much better. Like, the, everything. Like, is all better. the expressions they can make. Anakin's like little expression when he, when he asked. Is there anything else? Yeah. The thing like, I like, he, like you said, I think you can sense him in the Force. Mm -hmm. The thing I like is like you can tell the closer we get to like episode three because of Anakin's hair. Anakin's growth. hair. Mm -hmm. Like he keeps getting a little longer and yeah. a little longer. You're like, yeah. oh man, we're almost there. He looks <laughs> a little bit more. I mean, yeah, even his outfit is more episode. Well, three, at this so. point, I mean, I'm thinking like they're at the Outer Rim Sieges, right? So like him and Padme Pat, Pat are going to be separated for months. Maybe. I think an Axis is core. I think they said it was it was in the core, but maybe. I would imagine it to be more core because it's the Republic's biggest shipyard, and I doubt yeah. that they would have that in the Outer Rim. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm just referencing episode three when... Yeah, know. yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, we, like, we, we, we there was a canon time. Well, well, we don't know where Skako... Skako Minor? Skako Minor. Yeah. Like, that might be Outer Rim. Yeah. And if that's the case, maybe that's why he goes to the Outer Rim. Maybe he goes yeah. with his... With his troops, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> or maybe he went out there, and when he was out there, he had to do other stuff. But he just hasn't seen her since before the Outer Rim Sieges. And then the Battle of Coruscant brings him home. Oh. He's thankful for the Battle of Coruscant. Well, Cor then the Outer Rim Sieges could have already happened. This is just more missions he's doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I believe when we did the first trailer for when they announced that Clone Wars was coming back, that base that they were at when they, when, you know, that they came in on yeah. the beginning of the episode is the same place that takes place in Star Wars Rebels, where, uh, um... Ezra does like that force, like animal force thing to those things inside, like this old base. Oh, is it? I think it's the same place. Whenever like they had to put the yeah um, the explosion but things. I think stuff? that was a. Wait, is it the Sabine and Hera episode? That I one? think so. I think, and I think that was like an asteroid belt. Like I think it might be an Ascus asteroid because remember that was like a bunch of like asteroids, and this planet is not very durable. Maybe eventually it just gets so torn down it just turns into an asteroid belt. Maybe. I do like the way like it shatters into glass. Me too. Like the, the plants. That would be like a cool like, like video game thing to be able like you take cover but you, if you take cover long enough you lose it, you know? That would yeah. be interesting. Or like you like Gears of War. Yeah. Or similar to like Red Faction where like you have like you have cover but you yeah. go over here and shoot holes. Mm -hmm. And make your own cover. Make your own route yeah. to flank them or something. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be sweet. That'd, that'd be cool. I'm, yeah. <laughs> um... Daniel Smith says, love the episode. Just wondering, are you guys aware of uh, Task Force 99 from the Star Wars Marvel comics? While it is not explicitly stated, it is speculated that they were stormtroopers trained by Bad Batch. Does this mm. mean they execute Order 66 and remain loyal? I, I mean, I'm not aware at all. No, I'm not. Yeah, I have no idea. Also, I mean, when it comes to Order 66, they don't have a Jedi commander at all either. So they might have just completely skipped over the, the order. Possibly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh. Or could they just. So it's like an Imperial Force 99. Um. Well, they I, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, maybe. I, I guess for clones that don't have a Jedi commander, it makes yeah. you feel like there's other imperatives besides just kill the Jedi who's leading you. Yeah. So it's probably like go here to this place and task, all kinds of stuff programmed into them. What they say here is Task Force 99 is a stormtrooper group yeah. that mm -hmm. was trained by Bad Bad. Interesting. That'd so yeah, cool. so if, if that's the case, then yeah, you could say that maybe this. The, what is it, Clone Force 99? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Like, maybe they don't kill a trooper, but maybe, yeah, they do yeah. remain loyal to... The regime. Know, kill a Jedi, you mm -hmm. mean, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. I, mean, yeah. I don't know what I said. <laughs> uh, <So> disloyal, <laughs> you mean. <laughs> Matthew says, How can Echo be alive? We clearly saw him die at the Citadel with his helmet charred at the end of that episode. Mm -hmm. Could Clone Force 99 have the chip that clones have to Order 66? And how did you like the design of an Axis? So, uh... We've talked about a couple of these here, so the main thing yeah. is, how can Echo be alive? Uh, I don't think he is, necessarily. I think he's, if he is, he's barely alive. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, with Force users, at least, you, we, we see Star Wars, people can survive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're not Force users, but, you know, like Eric said, I don't think he's, you know, eating hot dogs, chilling, yeah. you know, on a well, computer. I think, I, I guess, you know, spoiler, episode nine, the main villain, how he's being kept alive. Yeah. Uh, maybe something like that. Maybe. Well, you also have in this episode here, you have Trench, who died way back when. Like, yeah. now he's half robot, it looks like. Yeah, I know? love his like, robotic, like, legs and stuff yeah. all over him. It's awesome. Could, I mean, could you have something along those lines where, like, now he's more like similar to Vader or any of those kind of things? He's being kept alive more machine-wise yeah. rather yeah. than actually being 
uh, just a clone trooper who's just helping them yeah. separatists or something. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, they're not like it's not like uh, ignoring what happened there because even these guys, like the reason Rex said, like you're not going to believe me, they all believe him to be dead. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, Common Amar says, "How impressed we, were you guys with the camera work and animation this episode? I thought it was by far the best, and we've that we've seen in the show." And it's only episode one of season seven. The season is going to be mind blowing. I can tell. Super impressed. I mean, that if- one shot inside of the uh, the cyber center was awesome. And that's you would say like, well, it's it's a CG show, so that's not super impressive. But that's actually like, you know, when it, when they plan out these things, they have to plan them out, and like it's like this shot costs this much, and the longer a shot goes on, the more it costs. You know? Yeah. Well, so like yeah. that's I'm crazy. I- well, for- yeah, F- Filoni said in some behind the scenes stuff, they actually have like a camera in like the shot. So all that stuff's going on and they do shoot it yeah. in the stuff. So yeah. that that's always been there actually. It just now it's done yes. so much better. But I, I guess like the I, I believe the way it is is like the shorter a shot is, the less time it takes to render, the less money you have to oh, spend on a yeah. render farm. So, so now the it's, longer the shot, the more actually it costs. So it's it's like a sliding scale of the longer the shot, the more expensive yeah. it is to render. Yeah. It's longer so, and it looks better than ever yeah. does. And I love it for it. I I mean I love watching it. I, I do you know the Daredevil stuff though. There's many people in human yeah, error and stuff, and, and it's impressive on its scale because they did this. And you know, there's I can't find scenes very easily yeah. for this with all these people involved and all yeah. these stuntmen and everything. Whereas this is like, you're animating, so you know exactly what you want to have happen. Mm-hmm. And even if you are doing the camera, it's just one person has to make sure they do the camera just yeah. right when you go through it. Yeah. So, but yeah. it still looks really good, and I, I enjoy seeing it's, that kind of stuff, yeah. whether it's animation or live action. Yeah, yeah animation compared to like what we've seen and the old stuff, it's it's, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, 12 Guys says, my god, the animation's beautiful. Has anyone seen the unfinished versions of this arc from a few years ago? I have, sadly, so I already know what may be happening. Okay. I really wish I didn't. So. Uh, I remember watching, like, five minutes at the beginning of this one, and then five minutes of, like, a... Uh, there, there was an Utapau one with some, like, kyber crystal stuff. Mm-hmm. But I remember watching it and being like, oh, this is cool, but it's not so good... Watching it, that I wanted to watch the whole thing, and I'll come back and watch it later, and I never did, because a lot of it is like, like it's the guy, it's it's Rex and Anakin, and they're just like, but you hear the voices, you hear their voices, and they, and they don't the walk, they just glide along. They just, yeah, they walk around. It's very. So they recorded the voice and stuff like that too, but they never got into the yeah. animation. And everything. It's just, yeah. it's just really rough previs stuff, you know. Yeah. And I remember watching, being like, oh, this is cool, but. I'll watch it later and just never got back into it. So Same I thing with me. some stuff. But I don't know any of the story. Yeah, I don't know any of the story uh, either. So yeah. That was stuff that was on uh, like Star Wars dot com for a long time. Yeah. Gotcha. No, I never saw any of it. Um, the only thing I had seen would have been during Celebration. It, it was during the Star Wars celebration. There was the trailer we had during that, and then the last celebration I think it was when they had the Rebels thing that was more related to like Boba and like campaign yes. and stuff. Like that was the only thing. And I don't know if that's gonna come into here. I don't think so. I don't so. know if that was I don't know what that yeah. was. But they kinda toss out like, yeah, there's a there's this thing. Yeah. So Yeah. Uh Boba Skywalker says, Can you believe we are watching new Clone Wars? And I love it. <laughs> My question is, I got a weird vibe from Anakin when he was talking to Rex. What do you think that was? Order sixty six vibes or something else? No, I, I, I don't believe that. I felt like he could tell Rex was hesitating with information that he wanted to give out. Yeah. And him and Rex were like this. I mean, yeah. He could just feel that Rex was holding something back. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. I, I think it was related to later on when we saw Rex and he's looking at you know these, these troopers that he's lost in the past and then talking about how he thinks one of them could still be alive because of the, the yeah. fingerprints and all that kind of stuff. But I, I appreciated that he kind of masked that with that could just be survivor skill too, you know? I wonder if there's going to be some kind of situation between Anakin and Rex during 66. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Rex we, is with Ahsoka. Uh, you know? Yeah. And it, it had, I wonder some complication. I wonder some kind of argument between them or something. Between Rex and Anakin? Yeah. Or, I mean, it had to be Vader at that point, wouldn't it? Because we see Anakin ever, from War 66 on. Yeah, but so. it could be some stuff off camera Maybe. that we don't see yeah. in with, the movie. With Rex and stuff? Yeah. Like Anakin's like in the temple, like killing kids, and Rex come, comes up, like, "What are you doing? What are you doing, guy, well, Rex?" No, I don't think it's gonna be that. I don't know how much time you'd have, you know. I don't know. I don't we, think... we saw stuff in the trailer where I was like, "Hey, man, I didn't see that in a movie." Yeah. Something's gotta happen to Rex before that, because whenever they're going after the Jedi Temple, the trooper that's like leading his troops, I believe, is Oppo because Oppo. he has the big arrow yeah. in his head. So I, Rex has to be. Somewhere else, and you know what? Yeah, like with Re- rebels, Rex, Rex doesn't the know. Versus with Ahsoka, I believe. Yeah, which yeah. that that'll work then. If that, something like that happens, and then 
we just got to figure out what happens to Rex to how he gets out of it, because yeah. he still has the, the chip thing. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he has to not, and I imagine him and Ahsoka take off. Cause we know in familiar. Rebels, they cut those out eventually, but we yeah. don't know what happens when it happens. Yeah, but I feel like that's got to be before yeah. it occurs, though, right? I, I, I think so. You know, yeah, I mean, like, well, the, like you know, Rex was there with the five stuff when Fives was trying to tell them what what happened. You know. Yeah. So uh, I'll be curious to see what they, where they go with all that. Well, stuff. and maybe this Echo thing too leads Rex yeah. into, and, yeah. he, and he doesn't he doesn't have time to save all of his brothers. He can only save himself and maybe. Yeah. I don't know one other, two others. Because we have we have a few in the. I'm honestly like when you say like what, like looking for what are you expecting or what do you want? Like I w- I know that we're going to be going to Mandalore because that's. Like, the Siege of Mandalore is supposed to be Anakin or uh, Ahsoka stuff, right? Yeah. And with Dave Filoni working on both this and the Mandalorian, like, I wonder if there's any connective <coughs> tissues there about, like, why the Mandalorians go from this to this, you know? Yeah, maybe. That would, that, like, if you wanted to add stuff in, I'd rather go that direction versus something else, I think. Yeah. Okay. I just want a lot more, with this being Clone Wars, I want to see clone stuff at yeah. the end of this and yeah, wrap definitely. up like that. Because I know, I know what happens to Anakin, I know what happens to Padme, I know yeah. what happens to Mace Windu, you know, I don't need, I don't need yeah. those guys. Clones and Ahsoka are probably my main things. And then, yeah. like, whatever's going on with Mandalore would be cool yeah. to see that kind of stuff. And Maul. <laughs> well, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. And it uh, seems uh, yeah, we yeah. also know where he True. goes up, too. So. Well, we know he ends up on Malachor. We don't know yeah, but how? And yeah. I just love this character so much. I, yeah. Even though I know what's going to happen, I actually want to sure. see that stuff a lot. Maybe, and maybe they can uh, throw some seeds out there for something that might tie into the Kenobi series. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Carter just wants to say, not really any questions. First episode was amazing. Love the Clone Force 99. Yep. Okay. Agreed. I mean, it's a shame that the Blind Wave Trooper helmet isn't in, in the Clone Force 99, though it's still cool. Oh, yeah. Super Cookie Gaming says, now that the graphics of the show have been brought into 2020 standards, do you think a remastering of season one and two in the Utapau arc will come? Is mm. the clone base the base we saw in Rebel season one, or is it just the same style? I believe it's the same place. I think that they're doing with the whole, like, crystallization thing is showing that this thing is going to be blown up. Because, like I said, I think that was an asteroid fit. I remember, like, them looking out of the base, and there's a bunch of asteroids that, they, like, Sabine and uh, uh, Hera went through, you know? So yeah. I think this planet eventually becomes, like, a giant asteroid field. Huh. And, and I think it's the same base. Okay. Um, what was uh, the first part, though? Yeah, I don't necessarily... Like, remastering? remastering yeah. Season yeah. one and two, <clears throat> up there. Yeah. I don't necessarily need that, at least not now. Maybe ten years from now I might change my mind. Yeah, I don't know. But, I like, mean, uh, I mean... I mean, I suppose if you went, like, you know, the Wind Waker versus Wind Waker HD, and they just kind of, like, up some stuff, but honestly, like, I still think that Ambush, season one, episode one, looks better than anything from Star Wars Resistance, you know? Yeah. In terms of the art style and the way it's done, so I don't need it. Like, as we were watching it, which, by the way, I'm sure you guys know that Calvin and Rick are also catching up, Mm -hmm. but while we were watching those episodes, never at once was like, ah, that doesn't look that great. Yeah, but Resistance will age well, I think. Probably. Very, very well. Yeah. Uh, and Clone Wars might not, even though it still looks really good today, 10 years later. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, if Dave Filoni came out and said that we're redoing it all, same voice cast, it's going to be the same, except look a little better with like yeah. the expressions that we saw today, I wouldn't go, fucking damn it. I'd go, all right, cool. Yeah. React to those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I would but like I don't need just... it. I'd rather... I guess I'd rather have a Clone Wars movie. Yeah, I'd say if, if the choice, though, is like, well, we're going to spend the money to remaster all these old seasons of Clone Wars, or, hey, we got a new series of yeah. Star Wars something, you know? I'd rather have the new series of Star Wars Me, me too. It, it, because I'm aware there's just a certain amount of, you know, there's like a limited amount of people yeah. and resources. I, I would know? just say there's not a problem there that needs addressed exactly. with those early episodes. Exactly. Um, Tricky says... I'm not sure I enjoy the idea of Echo being alive. Kind of feels like the effect of what Domino Squad represents in war is a bit cheapened by this. What do you guys think? Uh, again, I think we have to just <coughs> keep watching because I don't think Echo... I, I, I don't think the hope is there, at least for me. Like he's chilling in there. It's not like, hey, now we have Echo back. It's going to be... Look what's happened to Echo. Yeah. I think it's what's going to happen. That, uh, me too. It's going to be worse <laughs> yeah. than him just dying. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we're wrong. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be like, look, we found him, we saved him. Yeah. Good. It's going to be a darker thing. Yeah. But uh, thanks to the people that have watched the uh, the episodes and aren't saying anything about it, like that one guy, so. Is there more than one episode out? I, I mean. I think I, it's only one at a time. One. Well, no, it is, but the animatics. Oh. Uh, like, I think Bad Batch was released as like, hey, here's what we have of these episodes, and people could watch them, you know? Oh, okay. Because that one guy said, like, yeah, I think I have some ideas of what's happening. Okay. Yeah. And and Daniel also, he said, like, have you seen it? And yeah. How much have you seen it? He, so there's been two people asking about 
about it, but yeah, we haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything at all, yeah. so don't don't say anything. I don't want to. Uh, Jonathan says Jesse seems to be an arc trooper now. What do you think of that? I mean, we lost uh, both Echo and Fives were arc troopers, so they had to constantly keep bringing yeah. them up. So I think it's cool. I don't remember Jesse. Um, Me either. But I mean, arc troopers are always awesome. They have the best armor of all the clones. Yeah, I always love their outfits and everything yeah. too. Um, dang it! I watched an episode recently that had Jesse, and I can't remember what it was. I, have to, I didn't even recognize Jesse being there in an ARC Trooper, so I got one. It's Clone Trooper. Is it just like J E S S E? J E S S E, yeah. So he's from the 501st. He watching. fought in the Battle of Umbara. Umbara? Okay. I don't want to click the wiki really because I don't know if maybe there's. If it goes into this stuff. But Jesse's See, the one with like the big Imperial cog on his face. I'm just looking from the picture. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, maybe that's what I'm thinking of too, because during Umbara, like I kept writing down all the clones' names and yeah. stuff, being like, okay, that's this one, that's this one, that's this yeah. one, and maybe I'm just thinking of that. Yeah, okay. That was one of the things I was trying to keep track of. Was but that's cool that I mean, he's, we had to actually see their progression through their armor. I always love that uh, Rex took his visor from his fave of one armor, cut it out, and just put it on his face two armor. He liked it so much. Yeah. Uh, Keenan says, "What do you guys make of Disney Plus? How Disney Plus was launched? I only get it in March, and when they're going to release them weekly." When it comes Mandalorian, mm. we'll only have one one episode available yeah. at a time. I think that's going to happen as well with Clone Wars, so I'll be a month behind. Yeah, I mean, I have heard about that Mandalorian, when it does release in other countries, they won't be able to watch all of them at once. They then have to wait week to week, and it sucks because it's already available for a lot of other people in the world. Yeah. I just think that, unfortunately, <laughs> that's what Disney has to do due to its <clears throat> streaming uh, commitments it had before Disney+. Plus. You know, like... They can't stream yet because they have to finish out contracts that they made all over the world. I think a mix of that. Also, it could also be a mix of server because of, you know, when, whenever they launched initially, yeah. there were server issues and issues with having it. Sure. If they had gone globally with, globally with it, it might have been also a bigger issue of all those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it could be a mix of both of those. But I think the silver lining is I think once they finally get it out everywhere, I imagine Mandalorian Season 2 will be re- just launched everywhere yeah. at the same time. I agree. And you, you just have to worry about it for season one of Mandalorian, season one of Clone Wars, mm-hmm. and hopefully you don't have to worry about it anymore. So. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks, but, you know, or I should say, Black Wave does not endorse piracy. Yeah. Or racism. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> so that's it. That's all the Q&As for, yeah. the, uh, for right, right now. So thank you everyone who submitted Q&As and questions, thoughts, concerns. Uh, We'll be doing this every week, so make sure you guys send in any questions and thoughts that you guys have, and uh, we'll try to discuss those at the end of the next episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. agreed. And for <laughs> what is the... F- you had, do you guys have anything else in the episode before we could jump to a poll? No, we covered a lot of stuff in the q and <clears throat> I'm just really excited, loving the animation. Like, Me too. I especially loved when they got up into the... Uh, um, not the cyber center, but the outpost. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when they went up in the elevator... It would seem like a great place to have a really cool musical cue, but instead they just let Lucasfilm sound go crazy, and it was all just the sounds, and that was awesome. You don't get that a lot in Clone Wars, honestly. No, you Usually don't. Usually you get music and that, and this just let like Matthew Wood and his team go crazy. Yeah, I like that. That could have been. Yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder how it would have been the other way, but yeah, I like. Yeah. I like. I like what I saw here. Mm-hmm. So it was good. Okay, um, well, we need a poll, our first poll ever for Star Wars The Clone Wars. Yeah, I think it's um, about Echo, maybe. Yeah, it could be about Echo. I, I mean, like, we know, I mean, I, I just think, like, a, with context clues, Echo is alive, but also not yeah. alive. Like, that's, it, they can't, is Echo be, it more, can't be anything Yeah, is Echo there. more machine now than man? Yeah. All right, guys, so for the poll for this week, we want to know, uh, we have Bad Batch here in this episode. Did you have a favorite one? Which one was your favorite? So we have, uh... Hunter, which is the Rambo looking guy, right? Yep. Yeah. We had Wrecker, who was the big old strong dude. Yep. We had Tech, which was the techie dude, obviously. And then we had Crosshair, the sniper. So I say Wrecker, yes, he uh, was kind of a dick when he picked up the other clone trooper, but I think that Crosshair is a bad influence on him. And if that he was hanging out with someone nicer, he'd be a nice big boy. So yeah. Wrecker. <laughs> I'm going to say Crosshair because <clears throat> I love the shooting sniper thing. Yeah. And uh, I-, I was either between him and Tech because I love long range sniper stuff, but I also love. Dual wielding pistols. Gotcha. So I'm gonna go with crosshair. That's always cool. Uh, Wrecker or Hunter? Yeah. Yeah. Wrecker's really great, but Hunter, I like how he brings a piece. I like mm. leaders. Yeah. It's cool. He's got a cool Bardock uh, 
Bandana? Bandana, yeah. Bandana. Yeah. Bandana. Mm-hmm. I call her a ribbon. She's not a man. Jesus. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching Star Wars The Clone Wars. Go to patreon.com slash blindwave so that you can check out the poll. Uh, you can check out the full length. Everybody can do it. And we got some new merch. You, I want to see pictures. You guys got to tweet us pictures of you with the new merch because we are really proud and really excited. <laughs> Tag us on Instagram, too. Blind Wave yeah. Trooper.